Happy Year to everyone. This is 2017, isn't it? Yes. Thank God that you're able to see today, the first day, the first lost day of the first month of the new year. Praise God. A mighty fortress indeed is our God. That's the song we're going to sing. I have some of you might have even been thinking that it's going to call that anyway. You're welcome to this wonderful lost day that the Lord has given you and I so that we can come before him and worship him. May he please accept our thanks and praises. For all our visitors, you are equally uh, welcome. And we pray that um, the Lord whom you have come here to meet, he knew you were coming. He was here before you got here. And he's going to bless you too. Amen. And for our internet audience, this is our first service in the year 2017. We pray that the Lord who has ordained that we're going to be blessed in a special way today. We visit you wherever you are and bless you too. Amen. And perhaps some are just um, checking on their uh, uh, computer and finding a service is going on. This is the apostolic faith. The branch located on number 95 Fenham Road, SE151AE, if you are visiting or you are nearby and you like to be physically present, you are very welcome. You've just missed the wonderful prelude from our choir and orchestra, but you can still meet substantial parts of the service, as the Lord will bless you if you are able to do so. But for those who cannot, for now, let's... Um, Continue to worship God together as we sing Secret Songs and Solos, hymn number two, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. We sing all the um, three verses.
heavens. We glorify your name, O oh Lord. Yes. We praise you, O oh Lord. Yes. We thank you, thank you for your love, your care, your mercy, your faithfulness. We thank you for another year you've made it possible for us to see just by your grace. Abundant grace. Thank you, O oh Lord. Here we are once again. Before you, we would just want to pour our hearts of praise to you for who you are, for what you have done, for your people, for the many victories you've given us. And we can also look in faith that you are going to see us through this year as well. In every way, we want you to be our God. Help us to be your people, O oh Lord. Amen. Just pray that you help us and guide yes. us, Amen. lead Amen. us. Amen. Help us to have a closer work with you. Amen. That is our earnest plea. Yes. Because we know with you, all things are possible. Yes. With you, there is victory. Yes. With you, we will forge your head, serve you faithfully, just according to your mind. Have your way, O oh Lord. Bless us right from today and make us a blessing. Thank you, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.
we take our scripture reading once more from Genesis chapter 8, reading from verse 1 to, through to 12. And God remembered Noah and everything and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters answered. The waters assuaged. The fountains also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters returned from off the earth continually and after the end of the 150 days, the waters were abated. And the ark rested in the seventh month, on the 17th day of the month, upon the mountains of Ararat. And the waters decreased continually until the 10th month. In the 10th month, on the first day of the month, were the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass that at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. And he sent forth a raven which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. And he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abated from the face of the ground. And the dove found no rest for the sole of her foot. And she returned unto him into the ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. And then he put forth his hand and took her and pulled her into, unto him into the ark. And he stayed yet another seven days, and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came in to him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf pluck off, so no one knew that the waters were abated from off the earth, twelve and last. And he stayed yet another seven days, and sent forth the dove, which returned not again unto him anymore. We have the last special, which all of us are going to sing together as um, a grand choir, and that is taken from SSNS, it's a prayer song, 555. Five, five. Amen. 555 will be our last special before the word of exhortation. And it says, when storms around me are sweeping, when alone my watch I'm keeping, I made fires of evil falling, I made tempters' voices calling, Remember me, O oh, mighty one. Amen. Even when the weight of sin oppresses, when dark despair distresses, all through the life that's mortal, and when I pass this portal, remember me, O oh, mighty one. Amen. 555. Um, I noted that on top of this song in the music book that the choir or the orchestra will be playing from, it is stated with expression. So let's take that to be the expression of our heart to the Lord and make it a special prayer. Five, five, five.
This is going to be our year of remembrance Amen. by the special grace of God. Amen. Before we go into the um, word of exhortation, which is our New Year message, I want to believe at this junction I now have all the churches under our jurisdiction are joining us at this particular point all over Western Europe and the UK. And I want to seize the opportunity to say Happy New Year to all of you, wherever you are located. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord make this year indeed a prosperous year for every one of us. Amen. I want to also mention that you should take seriously the invitation to join the prayer meetings that have been announced already at your different branches, beginning from this afternoon, we all want to bind together to move the hands that is controlling the world. Amen. And that is the hands of God. Yes. And when we bind together and we pray from our limited experience and testimonies that the Lord has given us, we know that when we pray, God answers prayers. Yes. So we want to encourage everyone to see this as a great privilege to spend the first few hours of this new year before the Lord. That's not the only thing that we planned. I want to also believe that as, at your branch, they have announced to you that we would like to have, especially those branches where possible, to have prayer meeting throughout the month of January. Your times, of course, must have been mentioned to you and we want to ask that please take this very, very seriously. If you cannot attend all of those days, any day that you can attend, take advantage to bind together with God's children to pray down the power of God, and we will see what the Lord would do for us this 2017. As we all know, and perhaps some of us might have been wondering or watching and looking, we will see that we need prayers. So we want to all cry to God to please help all of us to get back to Bethel, Amen. to remember the faith of our childhood, Amen. to return the hunger and the thirst for righteousness in our hearts, Amen. to take us back to old time religion. Amen. That is the only religion that will qualify anyone for heaven. Amen. And we know that we need to pray for God to help us in this modern world. Answer, we want to pray that it will answer all our heart cries, Amen. including the salvation of our children Amen. and our acquaintances. It's not just by talking. It's not just by complaining. It's not just by strategizing. It is by prayers. Amen. And when we pray, God will move his hand. Amen. God will surely do something. Amen. During the time, too, we want to pray that God will bring back all backsliders, Amen. bless the work of our hands, and return those penitent tears. Do you remember those tears? Some eyes are too dry. We want God to return that. Amen. Those days that we will hear the word of God and we will rush to the altars. Amen. We want God to return that. Amen. When everything is just quiet, complacency, everything is okay, uh, Jesus, deliver me. I finish prayer. We want God to put us back on fire. Amen. And the only way we can do that is not by talking. It's not by um, counseling. It is by falling on our knees and calling upon God. And that is why we want to tell God that we really mean business. We, we want a change. In my life, in your life, in my home, in your home, in my church, in your church, Wherever, all over, the Lord can make a change. Yes. So let us stop talking. Let all of us take time to pray. And that is what we are going to do. And of course, we want to tell God that he should keep us spotless in this sin-infected society. And at last, make all of us fit for heaven. Yes. For heaven is real. Yes. He's staring all of us in the face. It's real. But we know that he's able to keep us and is able to take us there. You surely don't want to be left out. I know you will say, I pray at home. God will continue to answer your prayers at home. Amen. But the word of God also enjoins corporate prayers. Yes. We are God's children. The people of God come together 
to bind together, to pray together. Start planning towards it. Which day? How will I rearrange my diary? How will I rearrange my work? I must take part in this. And you will say that the Lord will surprise you. Amen. One other general announcement, which um, came from Norway, that I want all the branches to be aware of, is the um, apology from Brother Leroy, our district superintendent for our work in the Scandinavian countries, who, of course, has um, expressed um, his apology that all of our people that would like to attend the camp meeting this year, they will not be able to do so. And it is simply because of the limited space that they have on the rented facility or campsite that they use now. Uh, we have really planned and we have scheduled to put people in 11 rooms, as we usually do. And even when we have done that, we still have many people that cannot fit in. And then later, a letter came saying that maybe they can only give eight rooms. And then, of course, that set us back to go and look at the list again and see some people that we still need to say, please wait behind. When he read through all this and he saw all this, he wrote me to say that I should convey his apology, that it's so painful for them. They would love to have a bigger campsite that can take everyone. But on this occasion, at least for now, they don't have that. So when eventually the list comes out, please don't be too disappointed. All of us cannot go. I actually put myself down and Stella for not going as much as I would have loved to too, but of course for some other reasons as well. But again, if your name doesn't come out, please just wait for another time. And you know what? I will encourage you to pray for that camp meeting. Amen. Your presence, of course, is important, but if you cannot go, the Lord can still bless you yes. wherever you are. Yes. And then you can plan for some other um, camp meetings as well. Okay, let's go into the word of God. I'd like to read from the book of Genesis, chapter 8. We have read from verse 1 to 12. I want to read verse 13. We stopped at verse 12 in our Bible reading, and I want to believe this has been the case in all the branches. They have read to you verses 1 to 12. Now I want to read verse 13. And it came to pass in the sixth hundredth and first year, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from all the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and behold, the face of the ground was dry. Yeah. This is a special year. Yeah. You know, I was reading about um, how calendar came to being. And um, I read the, the Julian calendar, which is from Julius Caesar. And then later, the Georgian took over. And that is what we are using today. And they call all other years that are not leap years, they are called common years. So as far as the Georgian calendar is concerned, this is a common year because it's not a leap year. But this year in particular has some unique characteristics which has made it to become uncommon. The first day of the first month of the year falls on the Lord's Day. The last day of the last month of the year falls on the Lord's Day. That is something special. We had it 11 years ago, exactly the same thing. And the next one, when we are going to have the first Sunday to be the first day of the year, and the last Sunday to be the last Sunday, the last day of the year, will be 2023, should Jesus tarry. You know, if you look at the way this particular type of year comes in, it doesn't follow a common denominator. In terms of like leap year, we know every fourth year is a leap year, isn't it? it is. If you want to go by, hey, when does the first day of the year will fall on a Sunday? And the last day of the year will fall on a Sunday. You are not going to get two plus two equals four. There is something very uh, uh, special. 
about this year. And I take that to mean, for me and for the children of God, that something uncommon. Something miraculous. Something exceptional. Something rare. Something extraordinary. Something unusual will happen to me. It will happen to you in the name of Jesus in year 2017. Something that people will be wondering, what is this? How did it get to this? That people will be amazed of what the Lord has done. God wants us to start with the first day, the first month, which is the last day, and continue to the last day, should Jesus tarry, which is going to be the last day too, December 31st of 2017 is also on a Sunday. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Can't we just take advantage of that and say, God, you must do something marvelous. Yes. You must do something unusual. You must do something very special in my life. Yes. And the Lord will surely answer our prayer. Yes. You know, um, in some newspaper, you, you read some columns that will say, this day in history. This day in history. And then they'll be talking about something that happened maybe 100 years ago, maybe 50 years ago, maybe 150 years ago, maybe 200 years ago, maybe some years back. They want to repeat something that happened that time, um, that happened just exactly at that particular day. You know, on the first day, of the first month, something happened in the Bible. The first time. This day in history. In the Bible. And that is what we have read together. Year 601. You can put it to be our own now, year 2017. That's what we read there. And it came to pass in the 600th and first year, 601. In the first month, the first day of the month, something happened. And that is going to happen in the name of Jesus to you and to me today in Jesus' name. Because it happened before. God did it before. It's a mighty fortress. Is the same God today. Yes. We read that the waters were dried up. Amen. Waters. If you know the story very well, you will know the implication of the dryness of that water. We are not talking of water drying up here where there is no, no water now to drink. No, 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 no. Here in particular, we are talking of water that is not ordinary. Water poured out as a result of God's anger. Waters meant for destruction, judgment, calamity, no escape. It brought death to the people of the antediluvian, the then world, only eight people. That water is the one we are talking about here. Water of God's anger. Dried up. Dried up. Dried up. Such waters troubling you, troubling me on the first day of the first month Year 2017, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. shall dry up. Amen. Chapter 7, verse 18 tells us that the ark, which of course has been prepared for the redeemed, for Noah and his household, that ark went upon the face of the waters and floating, moving up and down. They were saved all right. They were inside this ark, all right? Remember, these are people that have never been inside a ship or boat. 
They, they were just inside. They are locked in. God himself locked them in. And meanwhile, the ark was just going up and down. You know, something on the surface of the water. As the water was rising up, the Bible tells us the ark was just being lifted up. As the water is rising up, the ark just being lifted up. And you can imagine, yes, of course, one can be saying, thank God I'm saved. But again, I want to believe that if I were to be inside that ark, that ark, I'd be full of bewilderment. What, what next now? Well, where is this ark going to rest? Where is this ark going to? Even though I know I'm saved inside, I know people have died out there, but I, I, I don't think it was very easy to inside. And we are told that um, it was a new experience for them, of course. And um, chapter 8, verse 4 of the book of Genesis tells us that the ark eventually rested on Mount Ararat. But remember, the ark, the earth was still filled with water. Even after the ark had rested on that mountain. Every flood swept away everyone, fear of the unknown. The, 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 where are we? How long are we going to wait inside? Unless the Lord decides to unlock and get us out of here, we, we are in. There's no other place to go to. Will he open? When will he open? And will this even now be our new world? Is this what the Lord wants to do now? There's not going to be that vegetation and this and that. You can just imagine the way those people inside the ark, they were thinking and they were wondering. What is going to happen? They may even be thinking that even if the doors are opened, we can't go out anyway. Are we going to be living on the surface of the water? But our God, in his wrath, according to the book of Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 2, in his wrath, he remembered mercy. And that's if, if you look at um, that Genesis 8 1 said, and God remembered Noah. Amen. In his wrath, he remembered mercy. May God, in his wrath, in Jesus' name, remember mercy. Let, let's get it clear. Right there in the ark, God did not forget them there. Mm -hmm. This is just an expression of man that God remember. He's the one, my brain is as tiny as anything. He's the one that created everything. He doesn't forget anybody. He remembers everyone every time. But that's just the manner we express a thing. Um, this is just an act of God's mercy. That question of remember means when it is his time. It's time. This year will be my time. Amen. It will be your time. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When the Lord, in his mercy, will remember. Amen. And we blow a wind. Amen. He knows where, where he will call for, call for that wind. That's what he did here. He calls for wind to blow. Blow over. Blow over the floods troubling you. The floods troubling me. In the name of Jesus, God will blow. If you look at um, that chapter 8 downward from verse 2, the rain stopped. The broken great deep closed up. Uh, um, there was continual decrease of the water. All this was just giving the assurance that he cares. He's in control of the situation. And meanwhile, uh, um, Noah sent out a raven and then later sent three times a dove. But each time, you will read that the water was assuaging, decreasing, decreasing. We thank God for what the Lord has done for us till now, Amen. up to 2016. God has a plan. Yes. If your own is like, it's not yet dry, but I can just feel that it's reducing. Amen. God has a plan. Amen. And it's always on time. He has all the detail in his hand. Then finally, a joyful new year day arrived. Amen. That's the one we read about. Joyful new year day. May that be what I will claim 
I want you to claim today a joyful New Year day when you will have a wonderful testimony, when you will be able to say that in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from all the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and behold, the face of the ground. That is hope, isn't it? Ground. When that is easy ground, when the Lord has now made everything to dry up, and now hope, I believe, that came up inside them. Wow. What a new world. What a new opportunity. So we are still going to step out. We have in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have stepped into 2017. Amen. And the Lord Amen. is ready Amen. to start with us Amen. in a new way, Amen. in a special way. Amen. The Lord will remember you. Amen. The Lord will strengthen you. Amen. The Lord will set to you. Amen. The Lord will establish you. Amen. All those waters of affliction, Amen. of poverty, Amen. of answered prayers, Amen. sickness, wherever they may be coming from, on this first day, Amen. not the second day, but this first day, Amen. we want to have a testimony in our heart Amen. that the Lord send his wind Amen. and dry up everything. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 25, 7 says that according to thy mercy, Amen. remember thou me. Amen. This is a year when the Lord is going to remember us. Amen. You know the way I pray at times, I tell God, at times I tell God, I say, I'm using the public service um, experience. I say, you know where you put my file? If everyone has a file, go and dig out my file. Amen. Bring my case up. Amen. And do something about it. Amen. Uh, he does, he does not, we don't need to bribe him to do that. Mm -hmm. I know some places where for your file to come up, <laughs> even before they find it, and then they put, put it together with the pile, and then later now to bring that case up. But for God, yes. you know all our files, yes. as far as he's concerned, they can all be on the same level. Yes. Yes. Because we are talking of a mighty God. Yeah. It's not the one that you say, I take uh, this one file, I put this one down. Mm -mm. Today, yeah. may he bring up our files. Yeah. According to his mercy. Yeah. And he will remember us. Yeah. You know, if you read verse 15 and 16, it says there that uh, the commandment of God came to Noah and he said, go forth. And Noah went forth. Imagine stepping out. After a long time in a confinement, after a long time in a place that is constrained for such a long time, and now God now opened the door, and now God said, go forth, amazing new world, new beginning, fresh opportunities, everything new. God made the dry ground to appear where it seemed to have been lost and forgotten, he made it fit for habitation, the time of constraints and conf conf uh, conf confinement and constraints, the time is over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's like God saying now, have your freedom back. Amen. This year, not freedom into sin, but freedom into good health. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For all God's children. Freedom into renewed commitment, Amen. renewed loyalty Amen. to do all that the Lord will want us to do, Amen. to be what the Lord will want us to be. Amen. May the Lord help us to step out Amen. on this first day Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Step out as we step into 2017 on a renewed ground. We pray that it will be for peace. Amen. Freedom from all confinement of sin, Amen. poverty, yes. sorrow, yes. unrest yes. in my life, yes. in your life, yes. 
in my family, in your family, in my church, in your church, in my nation, in your nation, all over the world. The Lord will do that for us. This day in history, God is going to repeat in the name of Jesus and give us a fresh hope. Immediately, Noah stepped out. What did he do? Chapter 8, verses 20 to 22, tells us that um, he worshipped God. Amen. Let us worship God. Amen. Let us praise God. Amen. I think we've been saying this since yesterday. Let whatever prayer we are making be mixed with prayers of uh, thanksgiving for fresh hope. And then if you just look down to chapter 9 from verse 1 to 3, the Bible tells us that God made a covenant with Noah. I love the wordings of those covenants. It's a covenant of peace. It's a special covenant. God, God was trying to tell him that now be multiply, be joyful, be fruitful. May the Lord make this year. As we are going to make covenant with him, go into deep covenant with him, make it a year of fruitfulness, a year of joy, a year of peace, a year of deliverance, a year of multiplication, a year of fulfillment, a year of abundance, and a year of victory. In the name of Jesus. Perhaps for some people, it was a flooded 2016. Perhaps for some people, it was, I just cannot move. I'm only here now. There's nothing I can do. I've sent out my raven. I've sent out the dove, and I, I, I'm just here. God is saying that 2017, Amen. he will remember you. Amen. That is why I'm enjoying, that is why I'm pleading that if we take this seriously, if I would take this seriously, God is going to surprise us this year. It's not just a question of saying it and then uh, folding our arms. We have to say, God, I mean it. God, I'm not joking. I mean it. You have to do this for me. You have to have mercy upon me. And the Lord will surely do that. All the um, years that the canker worm had eaten, 2017, he will restore. In the name of Jesus. 9.13 says that God set a rainbow. Hallelujah. God is going to set a rainbow in our lives as a token of remembrance to keep the sun from smiting us day by day and the moon by night to preserve us from all evil, to preserve our going out and our coming in from today and forevermore. In the name of Jesus. 9.15 was where God then said, no more destruction with water. No, 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 no. I will not do that again. I'm not going to do that again. He, he, what, don't you feel if God just says that it's over? It's over. My anger, my wrath is over. That dryness. I'm not going to bring that flood again. May God give us that assurance yes. that that has come and gone. Yes. May God make this year a year of relax. Yes. You know, they, they, for some people, they're pump, pump, jumping from one thing to the other, jumping. They don't even know what they are doing. In the name of Jesus, yes. our year of relaxation. Yes. In the Lord, in Jesus' name, yes. has come. Yes. It has dried up and will remain dry. A very happy new year to you all. Amen. Step out on new ground with, yeah. renew, with renewed hope, Amen. praise, Amen. fresh determination Amen. to go with him all the way Amen. as we come to the altar to start afresh with the Lord and pray that God will make 2017 a year that he will remember me, he will remember you, he will answer all your prayers. It will drive all those things that are causing issues. We are not going to let them remain with us till tomorrow. 
But today, in the name of Jesus, he will answer our prayers. Come to the altar if you can find a place. If not, wherever you are, you can kneel down there and go into deeper covenant, into deeper consecration with God as we sing the closing song, Oh Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. remember us. Yes. Uh, whatever our problem may be, you have given us the hope that if we will cling to you and ask for mercy and favor, you will favor us. Remember everyone, oh Lord, Amen. as we go on our knees, make this year a special one as you have promised. Let us go home rejoicing. Amen. Write names in heaven Amen. in Jesus' mighty name.